We all know Microsoft SharePoint as a portal system that can be used to mainly share files amongst users. And uh, yeah, one of the great features of SharePoint is, of course, that you can collaborate on, on Word or Excel documents uh, with different people. So multiple people can edit the document at the same time. But when it gets to workflow, it's a complete different story. And um, you know, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not a bad platform, it's not a bad product, but workflow is something different. And a lot of IT managers uh, have the idea that you can easily deploy a workflow, a full-blown workflow solution in SharePoint. Well, first of all, um, can you do it? Yes, you can, but it will take you a lot of time, a lot of resources before you get there. Uh, it's not an easy way. There is no shortcut. Uh, it's back to old coding. So you can, you know, maybe at the same time, in the same time you deploy a, a SharePoint project, you could even almost build it from scratch with uh, just Visual Studio in c .net or something. So the idea that SharePoint is, is like a, a platform that will help you, enable you to rapidly deploy complex workflow solutions, that's completely wrong. In BizMine, on the other hand, uh, it is easy to like in 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, depends on, on the complexity of your, pro of your uh, process, uh, to, to really deploy a, a complete solution. To create, first of all, the form where you collect all the information, then secondly, uh, create a, a workflow behind it, uh, even with complex conditions and all of that. And then finally, present your data uh, centralized in a dashboard. Another thing that is, um, well, kind of uh, a problem with, with SharePoint is the, the fact that maintaining the product isn't as easy as it should be. I mean, when you want to install updates, for instance, uh, of your SharePoint, uh, or even worse, if there are like new releases of, of SharePoint, that could mean that it breaks your code, it breaks your product. And a lot of companies are facing the problem that the developer, whether that is an internal or external de developer, um, that has coded the project is already gone. So someone else now has to update it so that it still runs on, on newer versions. Or let's say that a user, one of the business uh, users asks for a change in a process. Uh, it's not an easy task to, to do that in someone else's code. Um, so you're facing a lot of problems in, in you know, the maintenance and keeping your product uh, or your solution better up to date. And that leads uh, in, in, in a lot of cases to First of all, people working with a process that no longer reflects the reality, the daily reality, or even worse, they abandon the solution on SharePoint. If you look also on how long it takes to, um, to build that, it's not an exception for a SharePoint project to um, take, let's say, months or even a year. I've, see, I've seen situations, and I'm not kidding, where uh, customers of ours wanted to do something with SharePoint and they ended up after almost one year and they hadn't seen even the Hello World project yet. So can you do this with, with, with SharePoint? Yeah, you can, but it will take a lot of resources, a lot of money, a lot of time, and um, it's not going to be easy to maintain the product. Another thing is also that it's consuming a lot of, of you know, hardware or whether that is virtualized or not, it doesn't matter, but it will take up some, some you know, in terms of, of resources, IT resources, it takes a lot. So it's, it's pretty expensive to run. Um, and it's important to mention that the version that ships with Office 365 is not the full blown SharePoint version. So you can, you know, of course, when it comes to sharing content, sharing, uh, files and so on. You can do whatever you want with the Office 365 uh, subscription, but it's not tweakable as in the standard or the enterprise version that you deploy on premises. So when you really want to run full-blown workflow uh, solutions, 
you're back to, to the enterprise or the standard version of SharePoint, and that needs to, deploy, uh, needs to be deployed on your own servers, on your own uh, uh, IT infrastructure. And that's another, you know, headache uh, or pain, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's going to eat up a lot of resources, uh, time-wise, but also in terms of money. With BizMine, you have the option to just deploy it on-prem if you want. Um, but most of our customers nowadays choose for the, uh, the cloud version. Uh, we're teaming up with Microsoft, by the way. So uh, our software also runs in the Microsoft data centers. Um, the, the Azure data centers, as, as known. And um, yeah, you can deploy it in the cloud. Or if you really want, you can also just run it on your on-prem infrastructure. And the only thing you need actually, you know, basically, is just an IIS server, Internet Information Server, and then also the SQL Server for the database. So that's it. So if you really look at the comparison between BizMine and SharePoint in terms of workflow, they are in a complete different league. You know, BizMine allows you uh, to let your even people from the business, not from the IT, but from the business, to create, deploy workflow solutions in just a couple of hours they are able to maintain them. And uh, it's not just you know, the very simple form and a very simple workflow. You can you know, do some pretty advanced stuff in BizMine. You would be surprised. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So it's really zero code, no code at all. And uh, you can deploy in a very short amount of time and with uh, yeah, very reasonable pricing.